In this problem, we'll look at calculating the torque on an object about an axis. Pause the video now to read the question carefully. Now that you've read the question, it's important to understand exactly what is being asked. The final sentence is a question that asks for the magnitude of a torque, the torque is going to be about a hinge, and the torque is going to be due to the rod's weight. So let's start by drawing a diagram. Here's our vertical wall that the problem indicates. We have a hinge attaching to a rod that sits up at some angle above the horizontal. And we can use some of the information in the question to add to our diagram here. We know how long the rod is. The rod along here is 1.5 metres in length. And we know that it sits at a certain angle above the horizontal, the angle being 60 degrees there. The question is asking for the magnitude of a torque. So what do we understand by the idea of a torque? A torque here as a vector is equal to the cross product of the radius vector with the force vector. So we're going to need to think about what radius vector and what force vector are important in this problem. In particular it's the magnitude of the torque that we're asked to find. So we can just write that as tau and the magnitude of a vector cross product is given by the magnitude of each of the vectors, so r times f, and the sine of the angle between those two vectors. Now some of this information we already have quite directly from our question. For example, we know that the force that we're being asked to consider here, causing the torque, is the weight of the rod, and that will be mg, where m is the mass of the rod, which we know is 0.8, multiplied by 9.8 the acceleration due to gravity. Now r here is the radius vector that takes us from the axis of rotation out to where the force is being applied. Now this rod is an extended object. So where does the weight act? Well we know that the weight will act through the center of mass of the object. And so now we need to use some information that we haven't considered so far and that is that we're told the rod is a uniform rod. And that means that we know immediately the center of mass will be exactly halfway along that rod. That the weight of the rod will act as if all the mass was concentrated at that center of mass location there. So by symmetry we can see that that center of mass will be located halfway along the rod, a distance of 0 0.75 from the axis of rotation. So we can see the magnitude of that radius will be 0 0.75 meters. Now the third thing we need to know is the angle between the radius vector and the force vector. In this case, the force vector being the weight acting through the center of mass. That angle is this angle up here. We'll call it theta. Now you can see from that triangle there, the angle we were told, that 60 degrees above the horizontal, isn't the angle we want. The angle we want is the angle between the radius vector and the weight vector. And that angle will in fact be 90 minus 60 degrees, or an angle of 30 degrees. And now from our diagram and our reading of the question, we have all of the information we need to actually do the calculation. The magnitude of our torque, tau, will be the radius magnitude, 0 0.75, times the force magnitude, which is the weight, 0.8 times 9.8, times the sine of the angle between, in this case, sine of 30 degrees. And when we do that calculation, we get a number of 2.9 Newton meters.